Sometimes formulas are hard. When you're looking at a data set, that ain't easy. But lucky for us, Grid made things extremely easy when they introduced Grid 2.0 with Grid AI. Thanks to Grid for sponsoring this video. So I've talked about Grid before on this channel and it's one of those applications that is absolutely amazing in the way that it can organize data and create beautiful visualizations from it. But what Grid AI has managed to do is take the power of ChatGPT and pair it together with grid using natural language to give you formulas that actually work we've all done that thing where oh god how do i i want to find something in this data set but i don't know how to formula that that's where grid ai comes in now here i have a data set that breaks down different apps as you know big app reviewer big app guy so all these ratings are completely unbiased. Evernote is a 2.9. Uh, there is nothing that on this list really stands out at this point. It's just a raw data set. The information's just there. But if I wanted to ask some specific questions of this data and extract information from it, it's gonna take my big brain understanding of formulas for this to work. Luckily for us, if we just press backslash backslash, we then enable grid AI. And now I can describe the formula that I'm trying to create here. So I'm going to put what is the third highest rating in column B. Whoa. Whoa. Let's let's as we say, QA this let's double check this work that is completely accurate. Number one is obsidian at 9.1. Number two is to do us. And number three is notion at 8.6. Now, if I wanted to, what I can then do is do a slash slash. What is the name in column A of the app that's rated 8.6 in column B? And then it'll do an index formula to Notion, which is insane. Like this, this is so, I mean, now we can label this, like for example, I can just take this and move it over and I can write this out. What is the third highest rated app? And now let's pose some more questions to this because I, I want to get more information out of this data set. Like this is a lot of interesting stuff, but I don't really know what else to think of it. So like, I want to know what is the best note taking app? So first I do slash slash. What is the highest rated app in column B that has the name note taking in column C. And then now what it's gonna look for is a max if function, which I actually probably wouldn't have thought of even though I'm pretty proficient in this stuff. Okay, that's that's right. All right, now 9.1. Now what we then can do is do slash slash. What is the name of the app in column A that is rated 9.1 in column B? Obsidian, another index match. This is, I can't even, those of us that hate VLOOKUPs and whatnot, and indexes, this kind of solves that problem, doesn't it? Now I'm genuinely curious, like what is the average rating of these productivity apps? So then we just ask the question after we put like an average here, slash slash, what is the average of the values in column B? And then cool, 6.7.57. Now for a more specific question, I'm a big notion guy, right? And these are the, the ratings, the unbiased ratings of project management apps. So my question is, what is the average rating of project management apps. And to ask that question, what we need to do is essentially ask it slash slash, what is the average of values in column B that are named project management in column C? I would not have known average if was a thing, if it was not for this. And I can confirm that if we add up 8.6, 7.2 and 7.9. So now I can be like to, to QA my own work. Slash slash add the values in column D up and divide by three. Boom, 7.9, 7.9. And for my favorite of all of these questions, what is the worst productivity app on this list? So then we do the same thing. What is the lowest number in column B? 2.9 and then do AA. For those of you that don't know, I have a recurring joke that Evernote sucks. No, slash slash, what is the name of the app in column A that has a rating of 2.9 in column B? Evernote sucks. I'm just kidding. So this is amazing, right? Like I was able to just think through this different stuff and it gave me formulas. And I wrote the questions here so I have like a reference of like, oh, how did I do that? And this is 
something that you really aren't able to do when working in data sets. You can't do an index function by just asking the question, but now it's enabled into the different spreadsheets that you have. And then by using this, you could create even more visualizations off of this data set. We haven't really seen anything in the last couple of years do something like this. So I want to thank Grid so much for reaching out to me about this topic because this is an absolutely groundbreaking integration to their platform. Integrate it with ChatGPT, integrate this data with Notion. You got beautiful charts in Notion that were AI powered to ask questions from. I just, I can't complain. And I can't complain if you were to check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.